Now we all know that 50 Cent has gotten shot nine times. He damn near made a whole album about that. Now, the thing is that a lot of people do not know why he got shot, where it came from, and who have done it, okay? So today we want to find out the truth about what really happened to 50 Cent and who shot 50 Cent. Because a lot of people, they don't know. They're thinking that, you know, it's some hood beef or some street beef or even some rap beef. Some people honestly believe that it was some rap beef. They said something about they think it was coming from other people who he was beefing with, other rappers. See, because 50 Cent is a real hood dude. And a lot of people said 50 is known for knocking people out. And I heard from someone personally that 50 used to take up boxing. So he's nice with his hands. Because I remember when the story was going around saying that 50 snatched Ja Rule chain. Someone from Queens told me 50 snatched his chain. Or they heard he snatched the chain. And him and Ja Rule fought. And 50 lumped him up. But the reason why he got shot was because of that song. You remember that song? The Ghetto Quran? When he was talking about all the drug dealers and the killers. We heard that allegedly that's why he got shot. That's the real reason why. Because he was talking about the Supreme Team. You know, and a lot of old time gangsters and stuff like that. So allegedly, the Supreme Team is the one that put the hit on him. Now the person who's responsible for hitting 50 cents is homo or homicide. Mike Tyson's best friend. One time, you know, his bodyguard or one of his protectors. Because we heard that he's a real street dude. Hamo is a real street dude. He has a rep. He's known for putting in work. Especially if you have a name like that. They call you Hamo for homicide. You know, most people that have these street names, they don't call them that for no reason. That's something that they've earned. Okay? So what I'm going to do for you is, I'm going to read some articles about the 50 Cent situation. Now the article says, Brooklyn Stick Up Kid, Darryl Hamo Bomb has been revealed as the man who shot 50 cents nine times back in 2000. 50 talks about Hamo on the Get Rich or Die Trying album on the song Many Men. Turns out the dude was Mike Tyson's bodyguard and close friend who was living with Tyson at the time of his demise. And the article also says, turns out the dude that killed him was Lil' Kim's ex-boyfriend. They talking about Hamo. The guy that shot 50 cents, Mike Tyson's close friend or best friend. The dude that killed him turns out to be Lil' Kim's ex-boyfriend. The same dude 50 and G-Unit was involved in with the shootout because 50 dissed Kim. Now another part of the article says basically 50 shooter killer Damien Hardy went on a killing spree after his brother got killed. Anyone and everyone associated with dude was killed. And 50 Shooter Hamo got killed because he was associate of the uncle of the dude that killed Damien's brother. Now, what happened is that Lou Kim's ex-boyfriend, Damien Hardy, his brother got killed. And Hamo, the guy who shot 50 cents up, he was cool with the uncle of the guy that did the shooting. And Damien Hardy, he went on a killing spree when his brother got shot. He killed everybody who knew the person that killed his brother, his friends, his family. He was just taking everybody out. And Hamo was close with him, so that's why he put the hit allegedly on Hamo and got him taken up out of here. And that's the guy that shot 50 cents. Now let's go to another part of the article when Damien Hardy, Lil' Kim's ex, when he got Hamo taken out, the guy that shot 50 cents. Alright, it said the murder of Dawu Baum. It says Damien Hardy, Eric Moore, and Zaray Sarkissian charged with the murder of Dawu Baum, also known as Homicide, on June 10, 2000. Hardy targeted Dawu Bomb because of his associate with Ivory Davis, a rival drug dealer whose nephew, Rumel Davis, shot and killed Hardy's brother, Myron Hardy. Moore shot Dawu Bomb in the back of the head. Now, this is one of Damien Hardy's associate, Eric Moore. He shot Dawu Bomb, the person who shot 59 times, and Mike Tyson's best friend. Moore shot Bomb in the back of the head at the corner of Quincy Street, and Marcy Avenue in Brooklyn and subsequently fled in the getaway car driven by Sarkissian. Davu Baum died from the gunshot wound inflicted by Moore. Okay, so remember the beginning says Damien Hardy, Eric Moore, 
and Sarkissian. So Damon Hardy allegedly put the hit. Eric Moore, he popped Darryl Bomb in the back of the head. And Sarkissian, he was the getaway driver. So that's how this guy got taken out. The person who hit 59 times. Now at first, I thought that they said Bagram Smurf allegedly was the person who went and took revenge for 50. Smurf was supposed to, you know, be the one that allegedly bodied the person who shot 50. So that's how it goes. That's what happened. That's why 50 got shot. Now you know who shot 50 and you know why that person got shot.